I don't want you to think that I'm walking away because, sorry, I still have hope. In my head, I'm really wondering why she lives in Flax. There's no question, Robin. He's done with me. Cody's going to do what Cody's going to do. You know what, Robin? Have him. We're all grown adults that don't need a father figure anymore. This is not the happy-go-lucky Cody Brown that I used to know. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, July 13th, 2023, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So Sister Wives season 18 trailer is out, and I just finished a video about the storyline that will be Janelle and her kids, which includes how Janelle finally stands up for herself and her kids basically say that they don't need Cody anymore and they will allow Robin to win. Robin can have him, they don't want him, they're raised, they don't need him. Now I'm sure that this isn't exactly what they wanted, but it's gotten to a point where they had to do this. Now in the video that I just uploaded, some people were like, I wasn't going to watch season 18, I was so committed to not doing this because of the exploitation of the kids, but at the same time people are clamoring at the idea of Cody finally getting a taste of his own medicine. And it doesn't disappoint because not only is Janelle going to be going at it with Cody and Robin, but it's also going to include tense, tense and uncomfortable moments between Robin and Mary. If you don't watch Sister Wives and if you have watched it in the past, you know that most of the show isn't complete and utter lie. But the last few seasons, we've gotten a sneak peek into their lives and we've learned a lot about who this family is, including that when Robin joined the family, it was Mary that wanted to bring her in because she felt it was her duty as his legal first wife to make her husband more godly, and through that process, jo uh, joining the family for as wife number four was Robin. Robin and Mary pretended on the show that they had this close relationship, and over the years, it's really been Mary and Robin who've only had any sort of connection. There's been a lot of speculation that Robin has somehow created division with Cody and Mary by somehow becoming part of the catfishing scheme. I know that's a long theory. There's been lots of rumors. I don't know. I wouldn't put anything past Robin. But Mary and Cody announced their separation at the end of last season after the tell-all in a statement. And in this season, we'll see Mary finally make the decision to leave. Now this, for fans, has been a long time coming. There might not be as much pomp and circumstance to this, but I think the reaction from Robin and what this means for her is that she's now stuck by herself with Cody, which makes her utterly miserable. We have been talking on this channel for weeks that Cody and Robin's relationship seems to be on the verge of collapse. And if this season's trailer is showing us anything, it's that Robin did not allegedly want to be a sister or a, a single monogamous wife, though I don't know if I believe that. I can't tell if Robin and Cody are acting, but Robin has a massive breakdown and this one is for the hysteronic world records. So let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, can you please do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed by clicking on the clicking on the subscribe button down below. Click on the bell so you get notified of any time I go live and new content loads and make sure to share this video with your friends and leave a comment if you have something to say. Robin and Mary Mary has like no storyline because frankly she has no one to talk to in the family because Christine and Janelle don't have a relationship with her because after this past season we've learned that Mary actually wasn't super nice to the kids. Multiple kids during the season after season 17 came out publicly and declared that Mary didn't treat them well as children. 
That included Peyton, Gwendolyn, and McKelty. McKelty even uploaded a video where she basically expressed what she felt about the situation, including that she wanted to have no part of Mary in her life, did not trust Mary, and Mary was not a safe person. Mary's hostility and frustration and her temper has been a long issue, but it seems like even towards the end, Mary struggled with letting go of Cody. Don't even know what to do with Mary. I don't want you to think that I'm walking away because, sorry, I still have hope. In my head, I'm really wondering why she lives in Flagstaff. It starts off with Mary basically being like, I don't want you to think I'm walking away because I have hope or whatever. And, you know, Cody's all, I don't know what I want to do with Mary anymore. Why does she even leave in flat, live in Flagstaff? Oh my gosh. So this storyline is kind of boring, but obviously they need to wrap it up, right? They need to get rid of Mary. They need to find her some way to leave this series, leave the show, leave Cody. But in honest, all honesty, you almost feel bad for Mary. Like I can't, imagine having this hard of a time letting go of a situation and I think part of it is contracts with TLC right so she has to put on this face but I also think like in her heart she like was the first wife so she doesn't want to let go of it because she's stubborn and she feels like it's her family too but at the same time like most of the family doesn't like her because of how she treated the kids and Cody's just like yeah Mary my, my family doesn't like you because of that but nobody will address why no one on the show likes Mary and Cody's just like, I don't know why she even lives here. By now, you all know that she moved, although it's really unclear what, what she's doing. She spends a lot of time in Parowan. She doesn't have a rental anymore in Flagstaff. And so she's in Utah most of the time, but she travels a lot. And then on top of all of that, she's had all this negative press, and she's trying to become like a coach to help people live better, even though kids from her life are saying that she ruined their lives as children. But... It gets worse because Cody, Mary, and it gets worse because as Cody is like fighting with literally everyone in the family, Mary then confronts Cody and then that leads to a massive breakdown. There's no question, Robin. He's done with me. Cody's going to do what Cody's going to do. This is not the happy-go-lucky Cody Brown that I used to know. You know that episode of Friends when <laughs> Ross gets... Ross and Rachel have an affair. Well, they, they get together and then like Rachel gets pregnant and Ross is the father and Rachel wants to talk to Ross and then Ross comes over and Phoebe and Joey are over at Monica's place and he's like, you know, months ago, Ra Rachel and I kind of hooked up and I think she wants to talk to me about starting things up again. And then there no response by Joey and Phoebe and he's like shocked by that and then all of a sudden, Phoebe's like, this is brand new information, you know, because she has to pretend like she didn't know that this happened because she literally knows about it. That's how I imagined Robin in the situation where Mary's like, Robin, he doesn't want me anymore. Robin, he really doesn't want me anymore. And Robin's just got to have that look on her face like, this is brand new information, even though this is literally something that we've known for a very long time. And then Mary's like, he's not the happy-go-lucky Cody that I've known. And I'm thinking, when was he ever happy-go-lucky? I don't remember this man ever being happy or go lucky. In the seasons that I've watched, I've watched a man get increasingly more and more hostile the longer he has had to put on this charade and the more drama he wants to build into the show. And if you read the book, it doesn't seem like he was happy-go-lucky. I don't know. It's just like another contrived storyline. But you guys, it gets worse because she finally tells Robin she's going to leave and then Robin starts sobbing and I think it's because she realizes the money train is up. I just wanted to let you know I'm not gonna be around. It's not what I want. I wanted to sit on a porch with my sister wives, with our kids and our grandkids. Everything's changing. There's been a lot of, dare I say, drama. So this whole idea about Robin crying because she wants to have a ranch where she sits on the porch and she hangs out with her sister wives and they, they, they're with their kids and their grandkids. And she's like literally crying and hyperventilating about that. 
I'm seriously thinking, okay, sure, I believe a part of that, but the other part of her hyperventilation and Cody's face, did you see Cody's face? Cody has been trying to kick Mary out for years. And then when she finally is like, I'm going to be leaving, his eyes are like, oh crap, oh crap. Our biggest paycheck is gone. Mary Brown's LuLaRoe and her multi-level marketing and all of the money that she's made over the years has been the largest paycheck this family has had for a very long time. And so when she left, she took so much capital with her. She took all of her buying power. She took her credit. And so Robin is like crying about how she doesn't get her porch but i honestly think it's she's not crying about what she wanted she's crying about in my opinion the fact that she's gonna have to one be alone with cody now and then two all of her money is gone when robin joined the family she wanted to be taken care of she said she didn't care who she married she didn't care what he was about all she wanted was a man that was a good man a good provider and that could take care of her kids People like the other children that have spoken out have made comments like Peyton and, and Gwendolyn that Robin wanted to be taken care of. She wanted her kids taken care of. And her, her need to be taken care of and financially secure was at the expense of literally everyone else and all of their needs. And so for Robin, since she's joined this family, she has had a very, very, very cushy life, right? So she has been able to buy a nice house. She has nice cars. Her house is like, Oh my gosh, it's like a hoarder's nest of just junk that she buys. These like amethyst rocks that are like $6,000 that just sit on the floor and all of her really expensive trinkets and her art for days and like the boxes and the compulsive shopping. She can't do that anymore. Cody was a ticket, a meal ticket for her to have the financial security and the fame that she wanted. And as one more person leaves, she is now stuck with the reality that all of these people that were contributing money that were going into the pot. So right, the income of all of the show was going into one pot under Cody Brown's LLC. Well, once Mary left and Janelle left, they created their own LLCs. And both of them, along with Christine, are getting paid separately to their own LLCs. And Cody and Robin had to form their own LLC. So instead of all of the money going to one pot, it's divided now into four different pots and Cody and Robin is one of those pots. And so they're not getting that access to all of that money. And so when I see her crying like that, I don't see her crying because she wanted that that fantasy of the ladies that were on the porch with their kids and their grandkids, although it is a fantasy that they talk about in the AUB and they try to sell women on this idea that they can grow old with their sister wives, even though it's a fantasy. It's more to me that she realized her money train is up. Cody realized our credit is going away. Our, our buying power is gone. What the hell are we going to do now, right? He didn't want her there, but now that she's leaving, it's like, well, crap, she's leaving. I don't think Cody necessarily cares about the physical aspect of Mary leaving. I think they care about her money. Robin only had Mary. Everyone else hates Robin. So if Mary leaves, she loses her money. She loses her fantasy of the of the, the porch. And then she also loses the only person in the family that wanted anything to do with her. So part of me is like she's crying because she's going to be stuck with Cody now. And then to which I say to Garrett, what Garrison says, fine, you can have him, Robin, you win. Like you get what you deserve. This is all of the time and the scheming and the, the conniving. And she always says Cody's going to do what Cody's going to do. And yes, it took two people to do this. But Cody and Robin, to, in, me, in my estimation, were like a combustible pair of narcissists that had one goal. And that was as much money, as much sec sex and as much power as they could have at the expense of literally everyone else in the family. And so now that that's blowing up, I feel like her tears are about her nobody else it's not about anything but robin so part of me was apprehensive you know i don't like i'm not a huge fan of how they exploit the kids and the kids don't get paid and all of that but this is like karmatic justice in a way because now we're finally getting the real story about how polygamy isn't 
healthy or viable or a good thing. And so I'm all for this season, as long as we continue to see the downfall of Cody and of Robin. I don't love that Robin gets blamed for everything, but she is as much of a part of the problem as Cody. And watching her have a hysteronic meltdown about her fantasy to me is just so fake. It's just she that the we saw that woman on tell all say that stretch marks and you know women that don't do things in the bedroom and shaming the wives and all of that and then she's crying about them leaving that doesn't match up she's crying because she's losing her money in my opinion so what are your thoughts is the jig up are you excited tell me in the comments below bye guys